everyone. Good morning from New Jersey. It is a cloudy day today and right now it is 67 degree. And today will be 82 is the highest so it is not hot. Beautiful day. And I am going to walk up into our garden next to the chicken coop so I can show to you everyone our sweet corn. So Please come with me and if you are new to our channel, welcome and if, and if you are already a subscriber, thank you for watching our video and following us. We really appreciate it <laughs> and we have all kinds of fruit trees here in our yard so and they need to be trimmed, the branches. Even though I'm short, but my head keep hitting those low branches. So let's go. And please don't forget to subscribe. It is free. And like and share the video. Thank you. And also, and also please don't forget to hit that bell icon. So that you will not miss any video from us. And you are wondering... Why well, she's out of breath? Uh, we live on top of a hill and it's always either you're going up or going down. Hi chickens! <laughs> uh, I'm going to show to you our chickens. And here they are. <laughs> They're looking for goodies. Every time I come up here, you know, they think that they have always something for them. But I have something for them right now. I have oats. Hello, everybody. Hi. All right. See you later. And here's the sweet corn, everyone. This sweet corn is, the variety of this is, Okay, if I can remember the name. Serendipity Triple Sweet Sweet Corn. And we plant this sweet corn. The first three rows here, we plant this May 3rd. And then the next three rows, we plant May 10th. And then the last three rows here down, we plant this May 24th. So basically the first three rows, uh, I think we'll be able to harvest the fruit of this end of July, end of this month, because today is first day of July. So we are very excited to have a lot of corn this season. I think this is more than what we need, this, all this corn. And I've been <laughs> keeping an eye with this corn because we have a lot of deer. People might think, oh, where they live, why they have a lot of deer? Well, here in America, <laughs> deer lives in the city, <laughs> kind of. I just a lot of deer here. Where I come from, you can't see deer. <laughs> you can only see deer at the zoo. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go inside this garden. I have this fence. But in this area where the corn is, the fence is low. And it's not really... Uh, it, it will not make the plants secure from deer the deer can easily jump over and eat this corn so here's our sweet corn they said this sweet corn are very sweet and thank you to my brother-in-law who gave to us this seeds here they are I also fertilize this uh, plants, this corn, 
two times already and I can see the difference they look very green and the stems are big and on the other side of this garden we have winter squash butternut here we go I just have maybe around uh, 20 plants here whereas last year I plant around like 70 plants the whole area here where last year was all winter squash and we still have winter squash from last year in our basement we are still eating it <laughs> and they really last very long I mean the storage shelf imagine uh, the squash we harvest it last last year like somewhere in September and now we still have the squash in our basement they're still good to eat but they're all uh, the butternut squash the butternut squash really has long shelf life whereas other squash like acorn they don't last very long so here they are uh, this squash in the early when I transplant this squash here in the garden the bugs were really eating them I was I never thought that these plants would survive because of the bugs uh, the bugs name I did some research regarding the bugs because it's our first time here that I saw those kind of bugs and they're called uh, four-lined four-lined plant bugs there are stripes of yellow and black and they were really torturing these plants but I sprayed something for the bugs and I killed tons of them as in tons around the plants and these plants were able to recover from that uh, bugs aside from butternut winter squash here I have some melons <laughs> this is just tiny look at that the plants are very tiny I'm not sure if it's too late or what let's we will see but I have here I plant some and this one here is the same melon these are let's see if I can remember the name Halo's best melon my first year to plant this kind of melon so let's see what will be the result of this melon hopefully it will bear fruits so here's our garden here next to our chicken coop uh, this garden size is quite big and I gave I am giving the winter squash room so that they can you know they have space to crawl I don't like to overcrowd my plants in this way I can avoid those diseases mildew there they are everyone our sweet corn and winter squash this year and before I'm going to end this video, I'm going to give some goodies to the chickens. I have oats in a container that I can give it to them. So let's do it. I see an egg in the middle of the chicken run. It seems like a chicken wasn't able to find the nesting box. <laughs> Sometimes delay outside outside the coop I mean I have this crimp oats for them they like this and we have here around 22 hens and we have different breeds here here we go chickens <laughs> look at that they're eating we have here some hybrid 
like cinnamon queen we have standards like americana what else we have we have silver lace hawaiian doubt we have delaware we have buff or pinkton and of course we have the rhode island reds they lay big eggs the rhode island reds i like them big eggs and they lay a lot of eggs too but we are planning to get rid some of these hens because some of them are already we think we, they are not producing a lot of eggs anymore so we can give it to somebody who can you know use these older hens uh oh somebody is picking on the egg there there is an egg there I'm not sure if you can see but there is an egg there down in the middle that's an egg all right everyone thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe it is free again <laughs> and this is our sweet corn and i'm very excited because i like corn i can eat sweet corn every day <laughs> i'm a sweet corn lady so thank you everyone take care and god bless bye